Yo, this is Last Emperor, super duper MC from West Philly, Overbrook High School. You know what I'm saying? The same place that presented Gay the World, people like Will Smith, people like um, DJ Miz. People like Wilt the Still Chamberlain, you know what I'm saying? It's all the same hood, you know what I'm saying? I'm just doing good. Just growing up around the culture, growing up, and you know what I'm saying? And, and, and through the 70s, early 80s, mid 80s, continuing on. Um, the experiences that I had growing up in West Philly, seeing artists before me rock, like again, like I said, you know, I remember Fresh Prince before. Before all, before the TV show, before the, the videos, before everything, rocking parties, Bobby Dance parties and all of that. So, you know what I'm saying? I come from a rich tradition, and I'm just carrying the torch further. Heavy D, seeing Heavy D on the BET Awards. Because that, that you know, something I struggle with on a daily basis is this whole approach to being a, a, a middle-aged MC. I'll be 40. In, in, in four months. So a lot of times I struggle with the fact like, yo, should I still be doing this? Should I still be on the mic? But when I saw Heavy D on the BET Awards, still killing it, you know, I think that was a lesson to all of us. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're representing real hip hop, you must continue on. Um, I can't imagine a jazz aficionado, if Miles Davis was alive here today, they would say, Miles Davis, I'm going to cop his new album. So, Heavy D, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Um, if, 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 you know, his project, I'm sure his next project he was working on would have been hot. Um, you know, and just seeing brothers like Diamond still doing it, like he said, after like 20 years plus, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have no choice but, but to continue on that tradition. Um, the biggest challenge is just the climate of the music, you know, um, people taking a step away from lyricism, you know, we want to put lyricism back in the forefront, you know, yeah, you might have a, a good, a good catchy tune or whatever, but MCing is about really putting your words together and really getting in front of a crowd and rocking and being a master of ceremony. And that's something that being under the tutelage of KRS-One, being under the tutelage of Prince Paul, working with artists like the RZA, I have a responsibility to carry on that tradition and put the lyrics at the forefront. I would like people to remember me. On my tombstone, I wanted to read Science Team Go. That's the project that I'm working on right now. I want people to remember me as somebody who carried on a tradition of people like Diamond, people like the RZA, people like KRS-One. These are the people that I came up under the tutelage of, and I was a student, you know. And this is this culture. You must be. A, you must be a student. I don't profess that I know all the answers, but I study and I listen and I learn. So you know what I'm saying. Shout out to everybody, and we're gonna keep the torch going. This is middle. This is the. I'm the new face. I'm a part of the new face of middle age hip hop. I'm not old. You see how I'm doing it? I got the Cazellis on. I'm North Face from head to toe. You know what I'm saying? I'm still relevant. So we're gonna keep doing it like that.